Hey guys and welcome back to the Chip from Head to Toe channel. Today we're going to be talking about what you should take to competition. We're going to give you little tricks, little hacks that you should be using so you can take as much as you want and so you don't end up taking loads of stuff that you know you're never ever ever going to use. Because I used to do it a lot and it's like, it's just heavy. Who wants to carry around loads of junk that you don't need? So you want to learn what you need to take and what not to take keep watching this video so hey guys the first thing you're going to need is your uniform this is our lovely uniform custom made by Vasti isn't it gorgeous it's so so much sparkle love 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 so yeah you're going to need to pack your uniform we like to pack our uniform in like a separate compartment all in one place together so you know exactly where it is always you should always know where your uniform is you don't want to be losing it your coach will be and you can't buy a new uniform. Everything else you can replace, but a uniform, you can't get one on the day. So make sure you know where it is. And then after that, the second most important thing is your cheer shoes. These are the Basti Ascend. If you want us to do a review on them, please comment below and we will. Then after that, we pack our cheer shoes. Not cheer shoes, cheer socks, I'm sorry. And we like to pack those inside our shoes this really saves on space. And you need your sports bra, and every girl in cheer wears Nike pros, and so do we. But we like to keep it careful because the chief made the turn. And we also put on our clothes inside our shoes and the sports bra as well. It's just a good way to, like I said before, maximize space. And also, you know where everything is. And you also need like a training top. And we put all of that inside the Fasty dust bag. It's just yeah, everything's in one place, all nice together, and then we put the uniform with our Vasti bag, and everything is good. Now on to makeup and hair products. We like to take a comb instead of a brush because I believe you can do everything with a comb that you can do with a brush, but the comb is a lot thinner. And then we take one big hair band to put on while we're doing the makeup, and then normal hair bands and hairspray. But I have big hair. This is a conditioning spray, it conditions the hair and it will really good for flyaways to keep them down. Bobby pins, always essential, and we put them in this little case so we don't lose them. And eyelashes, I love an eyelash, just think it looks really good. And this is the point, you have to be savage and only take one palette. One palette, you don't need loads. So that, I really like the colours in this palette, it's from Revolution, nice warm colours for the summer. And also make sure your palette has a mirror in it, sometimes in the hotels. They have awful mirrors or they're really tiny, so a nice big palette is always good. Now when we're at competition, we like to um, take our Nefinity Glitter bag. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's really sparkles in the sunlight, which we love. I like to take a bun bag, have that around my waist so my hands can be free, and I put like my purse, my keys, my wallet, my phone, you know, the hotel key, everything in there. And then I like to take also a straw, a, a dwarf string bag, a straw string bag? <laughs> And that's just for like, say if I'm at like SC Nationals or something, or have my towel, my bikini and stuff when I go to the beach. And if I buy anything, it'll go in there. I also bring a water bottle that says, I don't sweat a sparkle. Don't tell people I swear a little bit. It's natural, everybody, everybody does. Don't judge me. So yeah, those are the things I like to have or take with me on comp day. And then I have my own little, well, my, I made it up, my own little middle kit. So the first thing I like to take is an ice pack. And you can generally ask them to put them in the fridge at the hotel and they, they generally do it. A heat pad, it's not for sore muscles, but more likely it's for like period pains. Because if you know about period pains, you need it. Tape, tape your wrists. That's an alcoholic wipe in case we get a cut or something. I just have one, I don't really use it, but I take it anyway. Plasters, if you get blisters, and then we have ibuprofen, or you can use paracetamol, that is just any aches and pains, tummy settlers, and then um, throat lunges in case you get a sore throat. I hate getting a sore throat. And this is really important, nail clippers. The last thing you want to do is scratch your fire in the face, or they scratch you in the face. And then this is a really good idea. Um, a little sewing kit, just in case, I don't know, you do something you uniform, you snag it, or you tear it, or something like that. It's really effective. So, 
put all of that in one little bag and then we take it. Next up is all Next. the toiletries we take. Um, we love to take them in the miniature little bottles. You can get them from the Pound Shop, Primark. I know they're really, really effects them. I love them. So you don't end up taking all the big bottles. One is, the first one is micellar water, shampoo and conditioner. Oh yeah, and we also like to take like little um, facial cotton pads and stuff. And that is shower gel and suntan lotion, especially it's been so hot at the moment. You, you really don't need that conditioning for your hair like conditioning spray it's really good keeps your hair hydrated and um, moisturizer like cream moisturizer every day so I'm not gonna stop just because I'm at competition a clip to pin up your hair just to get it out of your face or when you're gonna have a shower a toothbrush and self-explanatory shaver got it because it was purple went with you head to toe and then deodorant is really essential because you know, we all sweat, we all work hard. So sometimes we don't smell as good as we look. That's why we get the deodorant. <laughs> and a shower cap. Not many people have shower caps, but I love a shower cap. You know, when I get in a shower, it um, protects my hair. I just really like it. I love a shower cap. <laughs> More people should get shower caps. They're really, really effective. And then we have pajamas. These pajamas are from Primark and they are minions are so cute you know i always like to have thin pajamas because you know they're easy to pack away and then sunnish gel products i take them whether or not i'm on my period because you know you can always use them and two necklaces you don't need any more you know you're at comp you're not on holiday it's not a fashion show although it is and then i love to take a dressing gown i take a dressing gown because you know if i need to put my uniform on then i can do my makeup and go and eat and i know i'm not spilling anything on me so that's why i love a dressing gown and then at competition, I think it's always important to have some comfy clothes, so a pair of black leggings and a jumper. I like crop jumpers because I think they suit me better, but yeah, basics. Oh, and I like that go that you can zip up at the back so it doesn't have to go over your head. If it's hot, you need a pair of high-waisted jeans. They bring you in at the waist, so just really nice. And then a nice like um, sports bra crop top. And then I also like to wear with it um, like a bardo top. I think that's really quite flattering on the figure especially if you have more muscular arms which a lot of cheerleaders do it's a it's a great way to i don't know just feminize your arms a bit i really like it and i have quite muscly arms so and i get a lot of compliments oh yeah this top is from misguided i'd always advise taking a pair of jeans because the weather can be temperamental i love these jeans especially because it's summer so i want to be in a white pair of jeans these jeans are from glamorous the embroidery on them is gorgeous love 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 these I get whenever I wear them, I get so many comments. I get people coming up asking me, Where are your jeans? Where are your jeans? I'm like, They're from Glamorous. From Glamorous. You'll find Glamorous on ASOS. That's how I found them. And then I like to sometimes wear, so the crop top I wore before, I'd match that with it. So I like to mix and match stuff so I can have like lots of different kind of outfits. I think that's really important when you're going for like away for like a cheer competition or a mini break thing. And then you always need a white tee, just a nice basic. You can dress it up, dress it down. Also, if you get cold, you can go layer it up. It's just effective. And then this is really, really important. Play suits are so good for like, if you're going out for a nice dinner or you might be going to like a club or to go for drinks, you know, after if you want to celebrate, obviously, if you're over 18. Yeah, so once again, it's a bardo style because it's really flattering. These are also quite thin, so I think that's really effective. You know, it can fit in your, your suitcase perfectly. And also your whole outfit is done. You don't have to worry about what top you're going to wear, what your trousers, your skirt. You know exactly what you're going to wear. Done. Boom. And I always bring two play suits just because, you know, generally you're there for like two nights or I generally am. So, you know, two different dinners and stuff, just depending on the foot, just in case I spill something on one. And then I always bring a clutch bag, a nice little bag. This is a Chanel inspired bag from Primark. Nice and spacious, and you only need one, don't bring more. And then sometimes if you go out, if FC Nationals people do go out, so it's nice to have a pair of heels, but not too high. So these are really good. They're from Miss Selfridge. They are a gladiator style with like gold detailing. Love them. And a flip flop. Everybody needs flip flops. They, these are for Havana ones. They are from Brazil. I love them. They were a present, that's why they're from Brazil. But yeah, everyone needs flip flops for walking around the pool, the beach, you know, just all the time. 
and a pair of trainers is essential you know you don't want to be wearing your cheer shoes so you need a pair of comfy trainers to be walking around all day in and also for when you're going to competition coming back it's good to have a pair of comfy trainers love these these are the nike i can't remember their name i'll comment them below but yeah they're so comfortable I advise anyone to, to get them obsessed and shades you only need one pair but get a nice cool pair i love these these are mirrored and they're from asos obsessed with them and love them because they're purple as well oh they're just so nice look at them aren't they gorgeous so that is all our tips and tricks guys i hope you enjoyed this video yeah thanks for watching do you have any tips that you think are essential for competition that you think we've left out let me know in the comments below if you like this video you found it useful please um, give us a like it means a lot and subscribe because we've got lots of stuff coming up and we will see you guys later thanks for watching I don't know I did that oh hell oh.